It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Enough politics. I want to talk to y'all. Uh, things that you care, won't care about next week. Humble the Poet is here. I'm just thinking I'm going to care about next week. <laughs> Come on, son. You oh, had God. one job. <laughs> All right, we getting there, guys. <laughs> All right, we slowly but surely we getting this thing together, man. I think one I don't care would have been good. It's one, it's, <laughs> it's one. one. Didn't need the drum roll. Didn't need, yeah. Didn't need the drum roll. Just, it's just like as soon as I say shit, I don't care about next week. I don't care. Boom, boom. That, that'd right. be hot. So I'm right. producing on the spot. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, come with a poet. It's from Toronto. Yes. Big basketball coach in Toronto. Can't deny it. We run it right. It is two people that are synonymous with their sports teams that one, I think, created the lane for the other one, and that is the great Spike Lee for the New York Knicks. Mm. I think that he has been the most uh, popular figure in Madison Square Garden for the past 20 years, mm. including players and everybody. Mm. That's just my personal opinion. You're, you're a Knicks fan. You could you probably could. I think you're right, man. He's the mascot. 100%. He's the mascot. He the uh, unofficial mascot. ambassador. <gasps> Y'all have Drake. Yep. Right? So when you see what happened to Spike Lee yep. this week, Spike Lee wants to come through the employee entrance right. at the garden. Right. And they wouldn't let him. Got into a little shouting match, whatever, whatever. Wanted him to come through the regular VIP. What did you think about that, Schultz? Um, well, James Dolan, the the owner of the Knicks, is a complete fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I boycotted the Knicks this year. I've, I I was a season ticket holder. Okay. And I gave up my season tickets. I don't watch a game on TV. Wow. I won't do anything. Wow. Until he doesn't have to sell the team, but he has to remove himself as this controlling figure on a team. Ooh. So, see, I said he should sell the team, but what you said makes sense. Yeah. He's like, I, I, you don't need it. Why would you sell it? I mean, it's the best thing to yeah. have in the world. You have the number Hire one franchise. Hire a basketball, president of basketball operations. Let him actually but run But let him shit. actually do it. Because yeah, the yeah, way yeah, Dolan yeah. runs his businesses are is if you are loyal to Dolan, nothing bad can happen to you. You just get repurposed. Like yeah. even Mills, right? Who I think was the president, Steve Mills. He got fired and then put on the board. Wow. He actually got a better yeah, job yeah, yeah, after yeah, being yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing with Dolan is he's loyal as fuck. And if you show loyalty to him, that's what happened to Isaiah Thomas. So Isaiah Thomas got in that whole like Me Too situation with the girl, right? Word on the street is Isaiah Thomas took that L for Dolan. Really? Word on the oh, street on is the Dolan floor. was the one acting wild. I like gossip. Let's go. This a little gossip. Like tea, baby. But was the one acting wild <laughs> with the person that worked for him, yeah. right? And Isaiah kind of took that L for him, and that's why Isaiah didn't get fired. He got moved to some other position. He was like, oh, he'll be the head of the Liberty. He got a Me Too case, and then they put him on the head of the WNBA team. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, so just, you're saying, like, you know how Mel Gibson doesn't put his name on top of his movies no more? But exactly. He put them out? But they're putting them out, and someone's backing him. Exactly. Mel so, Gibson still makes movies? Oh, yeah. yeah. He doesn't put his name on them? Yeah. That's smart. I didn't know that. So so the thing with so the thing with Spike Lee is this. Um, first of all, it's corny, it's foul, it's just dumb. Uh, the fact that Spike Lee's been paying top dollar for his tickets all these years is hysterical that's and like can you that really call hurts can, my fucking heart can you really call james dolan loyal when you got a guy spike lee that said he spent like 10 million dollars over how many years on bro, Knicks tickets you're not even giving spike a discount that's what bro. i'm saying spike should get free look, tickets we got not bought to a super fan they gave him a ring so the really the, yeah, yeah the he's, never missed a, he's never missed a home games because the, the raptors is 25 years old so since day one, he's been to every single home game. I see that's loyalty, Court, bro. Yeah. Courtside tickets. You've seen him. You've seen him. He's that's the Punjabi loyalty. dude that's like guy. under the basket. Come on, you would, he has a turban on. You know, so he's there. Humble's there. I'm supposed to know all of them apart. They all got like it's Humble, Toronto, you get those bro. Seats, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto, <laughs> Toronto, Humble, bro. Humble, bro. When you switch his name to Cocky the Poet, it's mad turbans in the crowd at Toronto games. Yeah, there are a lot of turbans. But that's why our city's so dope. But here's the thing about these policies. Because I asked around some of my friends. And I was like, what do you think about this whole Spike Lee thing? He mm. goes, these policies are never directed at the individual, right? Mm. These policies are directed just at the stadium themselves. And everybody gets an email. Spike got an email. They said, hey, we're no longer doing employee entrance. Now, if you are classy and intelligent and a smart organization, you do a personal call to Spike. And you go, hey, since you are the most loyal Nick fan ever, and we haven't done anything to earn your loyalty— we just want to let you know, 
we're not doing employee entrance anymore. If you need us to bring you through another entrance, we can work that out. But that, I guess, never happened. How they about, definitely got an email. How about if Spike comes to the employee entrance? You still let Spike in through the fucking employee entrance? 100%. Like, yeah, 100%. Stable, Spike said he's been coming to that entrance for 20 plus years. Like, yeah. who cares? It's Spike Lee. You're 100% right. I guess what I'm saying, the policy is never directed at individuals. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, a yeah, company-wide yeah, yeah. policy, and then an email goes out. And I've asked other friends who, like, work for organizations, and they do these types of things. But uh, if it's Spike Lee, one, you just let him in. And then two... You make sure you give him a personal phone call so that he's not embarrassed. This is somebody who's ru like ridden so hard for the Knicks, especially during the worst times. It's like the least that you could do is call. But that just shows you how detached Dolan is. Because I guarantee those 19-year-old girls that he sits in the front row, you know, the Dolan seats for his shorties, mm -hmm. them little 19, 20-year-old model girls. Oh, I didn't know that, that was for. Oh, yeah. They sit with really? them little 19, 20-year-old model girls right there. I, I, I bet they don't walk through the regular entrance. Hell I bet they go no. through the employee entrance, yeah, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are they employees of yours, James? Do we need to know something? Well, they come to the side door. <laughs> well, side chicks. Maybe the back door. Maybe the back door. Maybe that's later. Yeah, I would hey, listen. If I let you come through the back door, I'm, at, I'm letting you come into any entrance I want to, because I don't need nobody. To, you don't need you telling nobody about what we do when, when uh, it's just you, us together. You come through my back door, I come in your back door. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So, would that ever happen to Drake? No, no, that would not happen to Drake, hundred <laughs> percent. That's my point, though. John, they give Drake the keys in Toronto, bro. But that's my point. They that's why New York the, ain't the shit. Yeah. That's why that's the what Knicks I'm ain't saying. shit. They gave him a ring. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I don't Drake know, got I don't one too. It. Drake got one too. Yeah, but I think he's an official employee, though. He's an ambassador. But like, yeah. here's the thing about rings: not all employees get rings. Oh, really? The rings that players get are different than the ring that a coach. No, maybe not the coach, but the ring that like. Uh, a GM or president might get, and their way, the guy who's like the custodian, he might not got a ring. It's not for everybody. I thought if you're an employee of the team, nope. you get a ring, like the accountants get a ring. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Just nah. the players and. You accounting. Do you know what I mean? Like you, 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 weren't with, you weren't with me shooting in the gym. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you might get a version of the ring, but it's not the ring. You were paying to keep the lights on in the gym so yeah, I can see the shot. Them, but then players, though, dude. <laughs> them players have been getting the fans New, in New York's held hostage. Your we team are. is held hostage. And we fucked up. The only way you do it is you boycott it because that's the only that's thing the he'll only listen way. to. If nobody shows up to the games, he'll be forced to make a change. I'm not even saying sell the team because I would never sell the team. But you have to change something if it doesn't work you change it if you keep trying the same thing over and over again you're crazy right that's the definition absolutely and sandy is doing the same thing over and over expecting different results boom but by the way that's like you said it's the fans fault because y'all keep showing the fuck up not me well you show up for mediocre product that's why when spike lee said i'm not going to the games for the rest of the season i think every knicks fan should follow suit mm -hmm. and then do what andrew did and then don't go next year either spike and, shouldn't go until it changes and if i was a player yeah i would never come play for the knicks i saw y'all arrest charles oakley Mm. I saw y'all motherfucking fuck Spike Lee up and won't let him in. Mm. Why would I ever come play with y'all? What respect do y'all show show y'all players? Real talk. Y'all super fans. Yo, if I'm Spike, I keep buying the tickets. Yo, I do a GoFundMe. Keep buying the tickets and make sure them shits are empty every single game. You have two still supporting them rows. though. Yeah, but whatever. But whatever. We could GoFundMe it. But the fact that those two seats would be empty on every single game, every single game MSG, you see empty seats. That was where the boycott could start. And then maybe some other people are like, you know, I had enough of this. I'm going to have my seats empty too. Imagine the Knicks played yeah. every single home game with the entire front row yeah. all empty because the biggest supporters, the ones who put the real money down, are like, I'm not even going to watch this. You know how embarrassing that would be to James Dolan? Yeah, man. That's how we do it. The big guys got to put that fucking money up. James, James Dolan, if you're listening. Do the right thing, okay? <laughs> Do the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do the right thing. Right. <laughs>